a paradise lost. So let's go back again many, many, many thousands of years ago at the earliest era for mankind when humans didn't encounter or endure too many things in their lives would brought tragic to them. So people conducting themselves in ways that they had to in order to make it survive and get by and in many families at that time ones would grow old and and then they would transcend the spiritual plane of dimension and pass on so their deaths or their passings were not deemed tragic because their lives weren't just cut short for no apparent reason or out of something that was senseless of a violent act. But I'm not saying that things did not occur that way, but not so much as they did lay much later on in a modern era. So families would be traditional of a household and they would grow old together. And then after reaching a certain age, they would pass on and then the children would take over, become the adults, and then things would carry on like that traditionally. But I'm not saying that even deaths of the natural causes were not disturbing or troubling, but they were not senseless and without any point. So with that in mind, let's skip ahead many, many thousands of years forward into the future, which is here and now. So check every major city in the world. Check how many violent murders or killings happen regularly and on an annual basis or an annual basis which brings much tragedy to many families lives because you hear about it you hear about numerous killings for apparent reasons that do not make any sense such as robbings carjackings killings by serial killers or, or arguments where at some point a gun would turn up and someone might be shot when they could have quite simply resolved the situation in a much calmer tone without one or both resorting to violence being that of the parties involved. So we have killings and murders, and when you add them all up, there are hundreds of thousands of them. They add up all the senseless wars that happen, and there are many millions added to that number because, it, because war situations do not deem the killings a murder, but they are still tragic because many of those soldiers who are killed are young and they would have had many many years left in their life if they would have not fought that war to begin with or fought those wars so we have many killings which are tragic from wars we have many killings or murders which are tragic from things outside of the war which are deemed criminal and add them all up, many lives were cut short and are cut short annually, which brings much, to say much disturbia 
much depression, much sorrow and much sadness to the family's lives who lost those people who were so dear to them. And I'm not saying that everyone killed was innocent and because I, I do believe a lot of people who were killed due to their circumstances probably got what they deserved, especially if they were the instigators or the troublemakers in that whole problematic, which brought their situation to a dire grim. But when you say those with sensible, intelligent minds would sit back and say, if it was a paradise at some point, that is no longer the case because it is apparent that a paradise has been lost. Thanks for tuning in.